sometimes they are burning pile and it's turning out too dark in the crystal. Sometimes it's cracking their crystal. And these were the samples that they gave me. So why don't I just maybe optimize this and show you how I would do it. If I click on the brush, again, it's misleading because it actually looks good here, but that's because of all the white in the background. And most of that white's not gonna be there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush, my color dodge at 50%. Now, when you're doing your color dodge, just be careful that you don't unclick. So watch this, if I click and then unclick, and then click again and unclick and click again and unclick, what happens is you're starting to see the circle of the brush. So hold it down, I'm holding it down, I'm moving the brush, I'm getting everything done. Okay. And then it's done. Now I didn't pay much attention to this one. I, I kind of went over his arm a little bit, but I still think it's gonna pass. I'm just gonna control S, which is the save. And now I'm gonna click on refresh. And this here now looks a lot better. The other example was it's too bright. If it's cracking, remember, what's the first thing I talked to you about was your Z. Now, some people will love it like this. I mean, I remember the days where people were like, it's so hard to see. They would love it if we were able to actually burn it this bright. So again, it's all subjective. So you kind of have to identify really what it is that you want to achieve as your marketing point. And that's what you're going to display. That's what you're going to showcase. That's what you're going to stick to. And that's what you're going to defend as well, because there are times where customers will give their opinion, but you kind of have to explain the reasoning and then all of a sudden they'll understand. What you're doing is remarkable. The fact that you're able to take a flat image, offer your customer having that image made to 3D so cost effectively, I remember the days it was like $50 for every half hour just to have 3D modeled. And now you're able to do it so cost effectively. Sometimes you need to really defend your work. But in this case here, if it's cracking, I would say your Z layers from 0 0.07, change it to 0 0.10 first. If it's still cracking in that scenario, I would reduce your power because this should not be cracking your crystal. However, if it's not because of cracking, but you're not happy with the look of it, then in that scenario, what you can do, this is a simple one, just go to your curves. Oops, wrong way. So I'll do that again. That's about it right there. And don't overdo it. If you overdo it, it gets too dark. So that's too dark then. Somewhere around there. And again, you can use your brush. So say for example, you know, that his, let's say that his top was too dark. Here it's perfect. But it was too dark and you can brighten just the top. A lot of your quality is really contingent on optimization. It's remarkable. And we can optimize, you'll be able to master optimizing within a couple minutes if you do enough of it.